Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to use our new tester, what we call, it's called a uh, TST-01. So this is actually, it's pretty simple devices, but it's pretty practical tools. So you can test four wire, five wire, eight wire touchscreens, make sure it's working or not. But, uh, you know, it's including one TST-01, one uh, special wire for the to test in eight wire touchscreens. So I'm using this ELO Touch as a sample uh, to show you a little bit how to use it. But before you use this one, you need to download a driver and install your, any of the PCs. So, but just visit our site for, for more information regarding the drivers. So this one, we already took out the screws. All right, you see this one, all right, touch screen. The wires here. To test it, it's quite simple. Um, first, you need to disconnect this, right? And then um, you loosen up this end. Oops. Uh, this is a USB, right? You can connect to four Wi-Fi either end. That's fine, no problem. No, you can connect it like this, or connect like that. That's better. So after you connect it, then you connect to any of USB port, which is your you already installed the drivers. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oops. Then, because my computer have a speaker, so you can hear the ding, the sound. So now, you can actually uh, check a touch screen. Oops, let me freak over, okay. So, see if anyway. Okay, so this touch screen. See, here we go, here we go. See, and here, beeping sound, that means good. If you don't hear beeping sound in this section, that means bad. So let me show you another one would be a little bit easier. So just kind of this one, set that aside. I have a um, screen here. Well, before I do that, the reason you want to test this screen is that, of course, if you see the screen have a, like a physical damage, you know it's bad, but most of the time, um, you know, you find like, hey, touch screen is not working, it's not right, some section works, some section doesn't work, then you know, or oh, maybe touch screen is not even working. So then you can use this tool to isolate problem between the touch glass or this controllers. But this controller usually is working fine based on our uh, experience. Uh, usually that touch screen has some issues. So here, <coughs> I have a sample to show you. Five wires, right? Eight wires, okay. So first, disconnect the USB cable from computer. Then you connect to uh, either end of a uh, either end. You can do like this, or you can do like this. That really doesn't matter. And then you connect the computer. You're gonna hear the beeping sound. Oops. Oops. Hear that? So that way, then you can start to test any part of the screen. Let's see. I like to, I mean, I mean, you, if you had connected to a monitor, you can see the, uh, the, the mouse was changing, something like that, but I, I would like to hear the sound is easier, you know. Whatever we show you, the part you touch, if the touch screen is working, that's good. So, same thing, like you touch the A wire touch, you just, before you connect it, you disconnect the USB cable first, use this cable, but this one was a little bit tricky. You had to be sure you match this white ducks, okay? Oh, this white ducks actually fell off. Actually, I have. You had to match the white duck on this side. And this end, it doesn't matter which, how you connect it to. That's okay. Now you connect USB to the computers. You're gonna hear ding ding. So now it detects. So you can test any part of a eight wire touch screen, okay? So if some spot you touch it, you don't hear the sound, you don't see something changing, that means that spot is bad. So let me show you a sample here. I have one IPP already. So uh, <coughs> this one was removed from a uh, yellow touch, okay? But of course, when you when you test touch screen, you make sure this is a ribbon cable. If you touch this side, it's no, 
um, no uh, no sounds and no reaction because actually if you look carefully the weaving cable touch screen it's on this side so you make sure the right side okay you touch so and either end uh, connect USB okay now working 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 see is this this side works works not working works not working so if you look at really carefully um this actually is way out a little bit because i think for, for whatever reason application the customer has they're using too much it's way out so this side second of the resistor was way out so the touch screen is bad see if you touch really hard sometimes you hear sound no see so this is how you touch test the touch screen it's really simple tools but it's really practical Thank you for watching.